Okay, hi everyone. I wanted to make a uh, instructional video on uh, how to remove your doorbell camera, outdoor camera, and how to reconnect it if you switch your internet. I've got a lot of questions on that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you right now. So the first thing, this is the customer's doorbell. Now, if you look in the bottom, it's a little dirty right here, but if you look in the bottom there, there's a little um, uh, slot. And the key, this little key comes in your doorbell camera box. If you don't have it, you can use, you know, a very small um, flathead screwdriver or something. And basically when you stick that in, that pops right off. And now you're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to undo these little tabs here, and then it'll come off. It's a too small of a screwdriver. And you don't need to worry about which side is which, they're all the same. So now you have it off and we're gonna bring it inside. So the next is in the doorbell camera box, it's gonna come with that key, but it's also going to have a USB-C charging cable. And the reason why we're bringing this doorbell camera inside and taking it off to learn it back in is you want it close to the, uh, to the router and you want it close to and connected to power so it's, it's charged. So on the back here, that's where you put it into the charger. So, so before we do anything, you're going to want to go into your Google Home app, go to your cameras and click on, and obviously they're saying offline right now because they're not connected to internet. If you click on it, you go up into the top right hand corner and you go to settings. You're gonna see where it says remove device. So you want to remove the device because we're going to relearn it back into the system. So you remove the device. And you're gonna do that for each camera. Okay, so next, once you delete both those devices, it was still showing that they were offline, so I just exited the app, logged back in, and now you see there's no devices on your, uh, your, your uh, Google Home. Okay, so next is we have it hooked up into power, and we're gonna connect this USB-C to the back. So after it's charging, and it's you disconnected it, and you brought it inside, the one thing the box doesn't come with is you need to have some small little uh, device that there's a small little pinhole right there and that's what you hold in to reset the device. So you're gonna have to reset it in order to learn it back in. A lot of people don't do this step and then it's never gonna learn in and it's, you know, you're constantly gonna be upset and <laughs> having issues. So we're gonna push the button and have it relearn. Okay, so I'm gonna take this right in the back here and hold it down. And you wanna hold it in, you wanna press it in. The little light comes on, but you keep pressing it in. And that's what you're looking for. You wanna hear that little noise, the ding, um, and then you can take it out. And it's restarting. Safe. Okay, and that's what we're looking for, the blue light. The blue light is what is allowing it, which means it's gonna, it's, it's able to be searching for a network now when, and so it's ready to be learned in again, and it's properly really set. So now that you have the device deleted, reset, and ready to learn in, one thing, make sure on your phone, the phone that you're learning to be, you're, you're trying to connect to um, the camera, it needs to be on the same network you're learning it in. So make sure it's on Wi-Fi and on the same network, which it is. So we go to add device, new device. You click which um, uh, home it is on, if you have multiple homes. 
And now it's going to be looking for devices. Which the blue light is signaling that there is. And what are we setting up? We're setting up a camera. And this is... Nest Cam Indoor Outdoor Next Gen Nest Cam. And now the QR code, you can either use a QR code. So if you don't have the QR code, there is a, oh, the, the QR code is on the back of the, uh, the doorbell camera. So you're gonna go and put that up to the camera. Let's see, scan it over the camera. There you go, you can get the check mark, and it's showing it's the nest, so hit next. You agree? Wherever you want to <laughs> plug in the doorbell camera. Okay, so it's plugged into power, so hit next. And now it's preparing to the device. So now it's gonna ask you to choose the network. So it's gonna find your Wi-Fi network. Is that it right there? Mm -hmm. Stop. Okay, so hit next. And now you're gonna put in your password. So once you put in the, your correct Wi-Fi password and make sure it's correct or else <laughs> you're gonna have issues and it's, you're, not gonna, you're gonna think you're doing something wrong, but you're not. It's, well, you are, but you put in your Wi-Fi password incorrectly. Okay, so here is an example of the outdoor camera and we need to take it down. So I guess what I'm gonna do, if you look up the uh, charging cable is right here. And then this is the security tether. You're gonna take off this. This is just a magnet. So you can pull hard and put it back on but you're gonna take this off and then you're gonna unscrew this to take it off. So here's a little power thing, it snaps in, or, and then you can take that off. I pull this down and then I just unscrew the security tether and take it down. So in your outdoor camera box, you will have the QR code as well. Um, if for some reason you throw out the box, there is the little code on the back of this that you'll be able to see to to learn it in but it also comes with a charging cable so i want you to plug that in so it's charging while you're relearning it. another few mistakes that people make is i just made it myself i thought this was plugged in properly so there's the blue light so again what you do is there's instead of a little pinhole for the outdoor cameras there's a little button there you hold it down just hold it until you hear the little music chime come on and you look to make sure it is blue and that's what you need so it you know it's sending its signal out so it can be learned back in and again you connect them to power so they're being fully charged okay so for now the outdoor camera add device you're going to add cameras it's an indoor outdoor and then on there's in the box there's a little QR code that you go over it. Okay. If you don't have the, uh, the QR code though, you can put it in and there's a code on the back there in small little letters, and that's where the code is. Um, if it's battery, it is battery. So you hit next. Continue.
it's going to be outdoors. And then it starts preparing the device. And as long as the little blue light is on, then it'll be good. So next you choose the Wi-Fi network, same as the doorbell camera, put in the Wi-Fi password and then it'll reconnect.